Community capitalism is an approach to capitalism that places a priority on the well-being and sustainability of the community as a whole. The community could be a metropolitan area, region, or entire country. <clears throat> Other terms for community capitalism include sustainable capitalism, stakeholder capitalism, and family capitalism. In 1997, the American Assembly published a report titled Community Capitalism, Rediscovering the Markets of America's Urban Neighborhoods, which they distributed to business leaders, President Clinton, cabinet members, members of Congress and governors, and the general public. In 2013, George R. Tyler published the book What Went Wrong, How the 1% Hijacked the American Middle Class, and What Other Countries Got Right, which describes the community capitalism models, which he terms family capitalism, used by countries that have helped their citizens to prosper despite the forces of globalization. He contrasts the experience of the U.S. over the past 30 years to that of Australia and the major nations of Northern Europe, Austria, Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, the Netherlands, and Sweden. In the United States, there is a growing opinion by some citizens across the political spectrum that the laissez-faire model of capitalism might be fundamentally flawed in some way. By reframing the debate around how we can leverage the positive aspects of capitalism to strengthen our communities, the hope is that the country can move beyond partisan politics and towards a collective plan of action. The human capitalism or human-centered capitalism proposed by the 2020 Democratic presidential candidate Andrew Yang could be described as a form of community capitalism. Kalamazoo. Community capitalism is a long-term strategy for economic growth of Kalamazoo, Michigan. The system uses focused and organized philanthropy and business investment occurring simultaneously. It focuses community resources into five key areas, place, capital, infrastructure, talent, and education. History in Kalamazoo, after a long period of corporate downsizings and the results of mergers and acquisitions, most notably by Upjohn slash Pharmacia slash Pizza, General Motors, First of America slash National City, and the paper industry. The Kalamazoo region went about changing the face of its downtown. It set up one of the nation's only community-based venture funds, establishing the Southwest Michigan First Life Science Fund, refurbishing a 2,000, <laughs> a 2,200,000 square foot, 200,000 meter squared, abandoned automotive stamping plant, building A. 58,000 square foot, 5,400 meters squared, life science accelerator. Embracing the concept of talent-driven organizations and funding the world-renowned Kalamazoo Promise Scholarship Program. Uh, the community has since seen resurgence in job creation and overall economic growth. The term community capitalism was first used by Fast Company magazine in naming Kalamazoo in its Fast 50 list in 2007. E2M economic model of community capitalism and community conscious capitalism was first described on January 1st, 2000 by Michael Garjan in a document titled E2M, an economic model for millennium 2000. It was documented in the following. One, a letter to Gorjan from the Department of Commercial Ventures and Intellectual Property at the University of Massachusetts, Amherst, on August 16, 2000. Two, a letter from Massachusetts Congressman John Walter Alvea to the Ford Foundation on March 1, 2001. Three, a letter to Gorjan from the Ford Foundation on April 3, 2001. Four, a letter to Gorjan from Hampshire College President Gregory S. Prince Jr. on August August 20th, 2001, the E2M model of community capitalism was further described in detail to Terry Moliner of the Social Venture Network, 
who was invited by Garjan to a private meeting of the E2M Board of Directors on March 26, 2001. Mulliner was the featured speaker at Garjan's intervention. <laughs> at Garjan's invitation at the Western Massachusetts Venture Forum at American International College on March 22, 2001, where E2M was discussed privately in a selected group. A second private forum was held at the home of Hampshire College President George S. Prince Jr. on December 11, 2001, for selective community leaders, including representatives from the Social Venture Network, businesses for social responsibility, mass ventures, local entrepreneurs, government leaders, investment advisors, and citizens. A number of additional forums discussing E2M, community capitalism, was held at Hampshire College March 26th, ugh, March 26, 2002, the University of Massachusetts in 2003, the Boston Social Forum on July 24th, 2004, and in private meetings over several years. Newspaper articles documenting, but not dealing, E2M community capitalism are listed below under further reading. A pattern, yada yada yada, cool, cool, cool.